Hey everybody, it's Justin, your guide into the other side. I just kind of wanted to get started by talking about codas, right? Um, and mainly, I know in the previous video I covered vessels and how to evolve them into Maras and then how they get crafted into Kodamaras or evolve into Kodamaras. Um, but I know a lot of you guys are just looking to play the game at a high level um, right away, immediately, uh, mainly because codas confer the advantage that they don't have to, they don't have to like nest. Um, and they can just start fighting the shattered immediately, right? So you may be looking for a coda um, that may this kind of um, you may you may already have a coda, right? And you're you might be thinking like, well, how do I get on top of the leaderboard, right? Because I want to get those leaderboard rewards. So, in my opinion, uh, I think that if if you have one coda, okay, let's just assume you have one coda, right? If you deploy that on a tier two or higher, you're going to be fighting against people who, you know, fill up all those slots with max uh, codas on the, those slots, right? So tier two is probably going to be for two codas, tier three, three codas, and so on and so forth. And that's going to get really capital, uh, you know, really expensive, really fast. So, I mean, if you are at that play style where you just want to deploy one coda, and this is like, if you want to do that, um, or you ha already have one, by all means, go ahead. But I think that's going to make tier one environments the most competitive on the outset of season one of legends of the mara um just because it'll be the most accessible um but it will still be expensive so do your own research on everything i mean this is not this is not like a, a code of buying god or you know um financial advice or anything this is just kind of like hey i want to play at this level with uh the coda that i have or you know i'm looking for just one coda um and i want to you know have a chance at, you know, getting to the top of the leaderboard, right? So you may not want to buy a floor coda because it doesn't have anything, right? It doesn't have weapons or clothes. So why are weapons or clothes important? Um, I mean, weapons, obviously, they're going to have some sort of damage output, you know, that will give you an advantage. So, I mean, obviously, click weapons uh, if you want to play at that full build, you know, tier one, only one coda build, if you want to just tier one, coda one. <laughs> so... With regards to weapons, um, we can kind of see immediately that the floor goes from four to five ETH. Okay, so that's about a that's about a two thousand dollar, I mean eighteen hundred dollar difference. Okay, so if we go ahead and click on this, we can also see that it has clothing as well. So it has a gemstone paladin clothing, right? So some of these say armor. Um, so I I believe I would assume um, speculation, of course, that clothing confer some sort of defense benefit uh, when it comes to fighting the shattered. So maybe maybe gemstone confers some sort of crystal defense, whereas uh, something like a shaved ice weapon has like uh, maybe maybe it has a damage output of ice. It has well, I guess it has a damage output, but maybe it also confers some sort of ice damage. Maybe so. Um, you know, that stuff is speculation, but we know for sure that, you know, da uh, damage is going to be important, you know, defense is going to be important. Um, so these are just minor, minor things that, you know, minor optimizations that you could have um, if, you, if you are deciding to, you know, get a coda and, you know, play at that tier one level, right? So, I mean, all what's also important to note is the kind of weapon that your coda is holding, okay? Mainly because we know that Codas can fulfill one of the three roles that are available to you when you're playing Legends of the Mara. So Legends of the Mara, you can either farm with your Coda, you can enchant with your Coda. I mean, you can enchant, you can farm, and you can hunt, right? So some of these will have swords. That's obviously for that's obviously for hunting, right? But some of them may have, say, a staff or um, maybe a sickle or something else that may not be conducive towards like hunting. And I don't know this for sure. This is just speculation, but in my in my opinion and observation, I would say that a, an apprentice staff here. So if we look at this coda here, that looks more like it's going to fulfill a enchanter role. So you know, keep that in mind. Don't drop five. Don't drop like six or seven ETH on something that you're trying to get onto the leaderboard, and it doesn't even fulfill the role that you want it. So. Do your own research, be very careful and keep in mind, you know, it's if you know, it's going to get really volatile. Um, so, you know, this is not financial advice. So keep that in mind. Um, this is, I mean, but I mean, but in my opinion, uh, some weapons look more obvious than others. I mean, this is an underworld world spine that looks like a 
that looks like a massive sword cleaver. <laughs> this, rem this reminds me heavily of uh, Monster Hunter World. Um, but I mean that that's pretty obvious. So I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if that had a lot of damage output. But obviously it's a lot of speculation. You know, pick pick a weapon that you like. Obviously for each class that you may want to fulfill. But again, uh, just to kind of recap, tier one is going to be the most probably the most likely to be competitive um just because it'll be the most accessible range i mean people with one coda can just you know drop their drop their coda into tier one um but again you know each leaderboard uh rewards are pooled per tier so tier one leaderboard one is going to be the most um probably most competitive and then probably tier two after that tier three you know as the more expensive it gets to deploy your uh, your your codas, your maras, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, stuff like that. So that's all I got for you today. You know, I hope you found this insightful or you know maybe uh, interesting. I hope, but you know, definitely like and subscribe. You know, it definitely helps me. Um, you know, expand the content. You know, build more stuff out for you. Um, but you can always find me in the the other side wiki Discord as well, and the other side official Discord. So definitely find me there as well. But yeah, I feel like I've uh, covered everything for tonight. And uh, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to uh, you know comment or anything like that. But hey, I'm signing off, um, and we'll see you next time.